Hello guys, hello people, welcome back to Hot Ninja Entertainment, where you get the latest news and entertainment from Nigeria. If this is your first time seeing my face, please consider to subscribe and put on your notification bell and don't forget to share this video god bless you as you do so and god bless my subscribers as well so guys without wasting much time guys una Bekanu is an activist and um it's a pity that the the masses the nigerian people at large does not uh, respect heroes ladies and gentlemen Una Bekano is a man that I on my own will compare when I see the fire of the passion of Una Bekano a passion to set his people free a passion, a passion to set Nigeria free at large. When I see that passion, I I have no choice but rather to compare Unabekano to Nelson Mandela. The last time we saw somebody like this, the last time we saw a man with strong passion was um, during the time of the apartheid when the white people uh, were oppressing the South Africans and um, Nelson Mandela was actually jailed because of this kind of passion of, of love for his people what makes him unique was basically because he was asked we will let you go but you will not stand for your people anymore you will not engage people in uproar anymore you will not call for riot anymore for the freedom of your people but this man Nelson Mandela refused to be to go to the street and be free because he wouldn't sign those documents because he knew if he go out he will engage people in riots and he will make sure they will not be able to contain him to stop him from and inciting people into an opera so they kept him in jail Ladies and gentlemen, when I see the fire burning in this man, under the Kanu, I see no other fire but a burning fire that I can be compared to that of Unam the Kanu. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm calling on, on Nigerians at large I'm calling on the president of Nigeria calling on all the state governors to please realize and think one thing Nancy Mandela was not denied of treatment Nancy Mandela was not killed he was not killed by the white man the life of Una de Kano that is compared to that of Nelson Mandela. The life of Una de Kano must be spared and watch out for. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm calling on all, on all Nigerians to come out for protests. A peaceful protest, I'm not calling for an 
for a riot against the government of Nigeria, but a peaceful protest is allowed in any nation that has democracy as its foundation. So I'm calling on all Nigerians to come out and protest. Let the United Nations see you. It is a teen of cowardness and a teen of stupidity. It is a teen of stupidity and a teen of foolishness. If you decide to segregate yourself at this hour and say you are not a Biafra, you are not Igbo, you are from Delta, or you are from Edo, or you are from Yoruba. No. This is a time you have to fight for the freedom of that nation. Nobody knows where the Fulani herdsmen are coming. Migration are never done like this. Migration is not when people come into your land to take over your land from you. The Western people, the migration that the black people or Arab people or the race of the world are migrating into their nation is done peacefully. You are checked, you are a refugee, you seek refugee. And after some time, you can allow to, be, to go into the society, not to take over the land. The cities of the land remains a first class citizen. Not to take over the land, not to own even a land, but you can own a house. And after 90 years, you lose that property to the state government. But you are allowed to stay in the land as a citizen. That is migration. The kind of migration that the administration of Buhari is allowing these people from the desert who are not even Nigerians, called the Fulani men, the kind of migration is allowed, is, is, is bringing in, it's not constitutional. Migration is not to take over a land. Migration is to go into a land as a refugee because you have no stable home. And if the nation, allow, if the state allow it, you can be granted an asylum. Uh, otherwise, you are rejected and you have to leave the city. Nigeria, the states of Nigeria, is no longer under federal, the way I see it. The state is being threatened by some certain kind of religious some certain group of religious extremists are threatening each of the states and this can bring about a revolution the people can revolt and when it gets out of hand people can lose their life so i'm using this opportunity to call on all nigerians to continue to continue. This is not a thing of Biafran. I'm not a Biafran. This is a thing of freedom. Thank you for watching that video. And guys, before you leave, don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in my next video.